what's up folks so we are out here looking for fishing at. um kind of cool thing we got trying out right now um, everybody has got a teaser he has created this company from the uh from australia uh game razor and they're basically coming up they got a almost looks like an rov like a submarine it's full of all these crazy lights he's got it <clears throat> we're testing it out you can let me kind of play around with one of the prototypes see if it raises more billfish uh will it work i don't know i couldn't tell you that's why we're checking it out and seeing i'm always willing to experiment with different things and put stuff out there and that's us more than fishermen i like i think most modern fishermen we like our toys you know there's always that well new lore or the new teaser or the new dredge or the whatever you know I, I i put that to the fact that fishing gets good and fishing gets bad and we have a lot of time to sit here and think about how we could always do better but hey i'm, I'm always interested to try new things so we got something out there to link in and strobe in and disco partying djing it up out there so uh hopefully we find one of these uh party marlin to come in and, and explore um we got a video camera on that i got gopro so i'm gonna start incorporating maybe some underwater videos and stuff anyways we're back out here current is starting to mellow out a little bit which is good fishing sounded really bad yesterday when i had the day off i did an oil change of service and a bunch of work on the boat but um yeah we'll see every day is a new day that's kona you never ever know so Good vibes, got the baits out, beautiful day. Come on, water. let's get this shit done. I think it's a stripey, they're about three in the spread. Small, small fish. Um, and uh, yeah, we're on. Must be stripies. Yeah. We're really small blue marlin. It's weird though, because the one on the short corner was black. Yeah, I just And that. stripies don't usually go black. Okay, what the hell? Could be a bunch of, could be a bunch of uh, little blues. All right. Big fail. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. 
Woohoo! You all right, stay. Whoa, big one. You good? Keep going. Ah, you're good, man. Yes, yes. All right, you go ahead and get the clip out. Okay, we're on. Not long. Rick. Rick got bit. Might be switching, maybe. Yeah, deep color. Here we go. Down, man. We're close. A little bit more and I'll end the suffering. Probably gonna switch. Yeah. Good job, buddy. Keep going, keep going. A little bit more. Hey, stubborn, stubborn one, huh? Go ahead. Yeah, I'll run over. All right, here we go, here we go. Double. Yeah, I know it.
Nice one. Go ahead, man. He's drilled. Good job, man. Give me some. <laughs> All right. Blue Marlin out of the way. So uh, one for two, one for three on sailfish. Or I don't even know what I would call that. But anyways, caught a sailfish. One for one Blue Marlin. Had a mahi come up and was staring at that light for a while. Looking for a while, lit up, and then kind of swam off. And uh, yeah. Oh, missed an ahi. Missed a yellowfin. So a little bit of action, a little bit of action. We're uh, just about done with the day here. I just want to kick it here a little bit long because we had the tide. Got bit right on the tide chain. No mystery there. Um, yeah. Got one. Uh, probably start heading back here now. Um, fishing tomorrow. All right. making a template for your your hook sets um, so that you basically can set them up and do them quicker and not have to make every hook rig and measure each hook rig per lure so let's grab a let's grab a Kona cut tenno for this tantrum right here okay Take a piece of mono, crimp one end, leave one single, okay? Remember, this is just your template, so. All right, I'm gonna run it through. Pull it in, pull it in tight to where you want it. Into the stopper. Take your cable, put your cable through your hook. Put it through the crimp, but do not crimp it, okay? Because this is, going to be a piece of cable that's going to be our template. Pull it down to where you want. Takes your next crimp. Put it on here. Run it through your loop. That's the loop you just crimped in the mono. Run it through your loop. Put it back through the cable. Just put it back through your crimp. And then the tag end, you're going to pull that down to where you want. We want to keep this more, push up. Let's see where we're at here. To me, that looks about good right there on this particular lure because it's a rubber skirt. It's about where I would want it. So <clears throat> now we know where it's at. Again, don't crimp it. Bend it a little bit right where that's at. Pull it just a little bit more. We're going to cut it here. Then we're gonna pull this out, pull this out, pull this out. Now here is your template, okay? And now what you can do is go to your spool and measure this up on there, cut it. And you can just do that all day long. Just keep one as your template and now you have all these cable 
and you know that all this cable will be the exact size to put in through a crimp, run it flush, make your hook rig, and it'll fit on that lure. So that's how you make the templates. You can do that with every lure, as long as you got a rubber stopper in it too. And that's it. All right, we're back out here. On the hunt for the blue marlin, the elusive blue marlin. Been tough fishing out here lately, I'll tell you that. But current got a little funky, switched on us. Last few days, it's uh, it's starting to settle in, getting a little bit of a different direction. So that's a good sign. And uh, I'm gonna head down and uh, go fish a spot down south here that I hoping is gonna be favoring this current and look good. And uh, we got a special character on the boat today. We got the hailstorm. Uh. Gonna be making, uh, gonna be making cookies and ch ch what are those called? Ch ch charcuterie boards. Charcuterie boards. So, if you want more hails on the boat, comment below, and I'll make her come along on the trips. But we got a hailstorm here. But Nick in the cockpit, new crew. JJ went back. He is working now on a salary position on a boat as it goes and uh, we got Nicholas here from Louisiana and we're gonna catch a big one today. So stand by. That right there. Baby, how you feel? Hell yeah, buddy. That's what I'm talking about. Hooked up. Nice little end of the bite, short rigger. I see the Lord. Remember. needs more fun for me, right? At least that's what I think it does.
on, boy. Yeah, baby. Random all in sport fishing. What do you say, Barrett? You high five, bud? I didn't want to have to do it on the side of the boat. Great job, dude. Yeah. That's putting one hurting on one quick, boys. Thank you, buddy. Yeah, that was a nice one. Okay, I'm officially in love with 5.30 now. Woo! I'll have to let it go. <laughs> you told me you catch you out here on the I've caught two fish. I've caught two with you. They've all been they've both been right here in front of the marina. Mark's one like streaking up on the sounder, but I was like, I'm not gonna say anything because every time I say something, yeah, we're not hitting bed. I'm just like waiting. Fuck. I'm like, oh no, the car. Look at dip at the end of the day. See you, man. Oh, good job, man. You kicked that thing back. See that guy? Yeah, baby! Awesome, man. Woo! All right, what's up, folks? So we finally got one here. Long day. Fishing's been super tough. Finishing up the day in front of the harbor. I wanted to clip in on one more of my favorite little spots in here. Went in. I saw one streaking up on the side. I thought was one streaking up on the sounder. And I thought, oh, that's not coming up. Didn't think about it because I've been kind of I marked another one earlier today. It never ate, and then, uh, sure enough, boom on the short corner. I think it was actually up in my thread. Came away and ate that. And, uh, thank God. And then hail storm on the camera with the other camera. All right. And then uh, one for one. <laughs> 